Welcome back to my channel. Capacity planning plays a vital role in every organization, whether it's a manufacturing plant, a hospital, a restaurant, or a software company. Capacity planning is about stability, making sure that a business has the right amount of resources, like people, machines, and materials, to meet current and future demand without wasting money or time. Today, we will explore this crucial concept in simple terms, understand why it matters, and see how people and businesses apply it in everyday scenarios. Let's start the video. What is capacity planning? Capacity planning is the process of determining the production capacity needed by an organization to meet changing demands for its products or services. Imagine you're running a small bakery. If you bake too little, people leave disappointed and may not return. If you bake too much, the bread goes unsold and wasted. This is where capacity planning helps. It guides you in preparing the right amount at the right time using the right resources. In large organizations, this could involve forecasting customer orders, analyzing employee schedules, calculating machine hours, or managing supplier timelines. But the principle remains the same, which is matching supply with demand efficiently. Why is capacity planning important? Number one, improves customer satisfaction. When businesses can deliver products or services on time, customers are happy. Poor planning often leads to delays or stockouts, hurting customer trust. Number two, controls costs. Planning helps avoid underutilized resources or overstaffing, both of which can drain budgets. You invest just enough, not too much, not too little. Number three, enable scalability. As demand grows, businesses that have done their capacity planning can scale smoothly. Those who don't may struggle to keep up. Number four, reduces stress on employees. One of the most human benefits of capacity planning is that it reduces burnout. When workloads are predictable and manageable, employees perform better. If you find the video helpful, please like it. That will be very helpful to me. Types of capacity planning. We can divide capacity planning into three main types, workforce, product, and tool. Together, these ensure your business has the right mix of people, materials, and equipment to meet both current needs and future demand. Number one, workforce capacity planning. This focuses on your team, making sure you have the right number of employees with the right skills available at the right time. It helps you answer questions like, do we need to hire more people? Is our staff working overtime too often? With capacity planning, you can avoid last minute hiring, burnout, or understaffing and maintain a healthy work environment for everyone. Number two, product capacity planning. Here, the focus is on the physical items or resources needed to fulfill customer demand. Whether you're running a retail store, a factory, or a catering service, product capacity planning ensures you have enough stock or production resources, not too much that it leads to waste, and not too little that it causes delays. It's about having the right balance to keep customers satisfied. Number three, tool capacity planning. This type ensures your business has the right tools and equipment in place to do the job efficiently. That might include machinery, vehicles, software, or even computers, depending on your industry. Planning for upgrades, maintenance, or expansion helps avoid unexpected downtime and keeps operations running smoothly. Let's understand the capacity planning process in five simple steps. While the details of capacity planning can vary across businesses, the core steps remain largely the same. Step one, forecast demand. First, understand how much demand is expected. This might mean looking at past sales, market trends, or customer behavior. It's okay if predictions aren't perfect. It's about making informed guesses. Step two, analyze current capacity. Take stock of your current resources. Analyze how many products can you make, how many customers can you serve, or how many projects can your team handle. Use real data and feedback from staff. Step three, identify gaps. Compare demand with available capacity. Are you falling short or do you have more resources than needed? 
This is where the adjustment begins. Step 4. Develop a plan. Now it's time to act. This may include hiring more staff, buying new machines, adjusting work shifts, or outsourcing work temporarily. Step 5. Monitor and adjust. We don't perform capacity planning only once. It's a continuous process. Markets change, people leave, machines break. So you must keep reviewing your plan regularly. In the end, capacity planning is both a science and an art. It involves data, yes, but it also requires intuition, communication, and care for the people behind the work. Whether you're managing a startup or large corporation, mastering capacity planning means fewer surprises, happier teams, and stronger results. If you want to read it in detail or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. You can support my work by buying me a coffee. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.